Welcome back to Planet Coaster. I'm your host, Brothgar, and today I'm going to be continuing my adventure in my park here, the Taiga Forest Adventure. And as you can see here, there's a couple of things that have changed. One of them is a little bit more obvious than the others, but I added a bunch of these off-white blue lights, just like I had over here on my Arctic Rush, and I think that adds a lot of elements to this you know, the beautiful side of this park, which is at night, when I think this park looks absolutely the best, the winter biome. I mean, you get that just that bluish white light. Mm, perfect. Added that to a lot of different rides here and kind of, you know, just, just to spot things up and add a little bit of glow to it. So we kind of got that incandescent look right there and that kind of, you know, what is it, 650K LED kind of light going on. Beautiful. Beautiful. I love it. And the big thing that I added after we, I talked about a little bit when we had this, I was looking at this water ride, is I was going to have some sort of land up here. And I'm like, you know what? This looks like the opportunity I've been waiting for to make some sort of big old castle fort sort of thing. So this is what I've been building up right here. It's a work in progress, but it's taken long enough to where I figured I might as well make a video now or I will never make another video, <laughs> especially with how busy I am lately. And so this is what I've started to do right here. Now, I built this out of blocks. So like each one of these is its own building. And even this building over here, which is my actual sort of castle that I'm starting to build or palace or manor house. I don't know what we're going to call it right there. Uh, this is is something that I've customly made. But a lot of this other stuff is just part of my blueprints. So if you go over here to blueprints, there's a couple of things I found on the Steam Workshop for uh, just like blocks, right? So this is just this castle building set right here. And as you can see, it just has a bunch of different towers and stuff. And what you can do is you can actually place this stuff down. Like, watch, I'll just place this entire thing down. You can edit the building and then select whatever sort of tower you want. Let's say I want this style right here. This looks pretty good. So then you can select it and then click this button right over here on the top right. And this will split selection from building. So that becomes its own building all by itself, which you can then hit Control D and duplicate it and place it, you know, as many times as you want. So that is pretty handy right there. And what I did is I went through the Steam Workshop trying to find everything that is a castle building set and then put it into a collection for you guys. So that is over here. So I will have this link down in the description below rather than just go through everything that everybody has made and, you know, blah. You can hit, hit this up, subscribe to what you want to, or subscribe to the whole thing if you really want to. None of this is stuff that I've made, but it's, you know, people have done that due diligence of actually making all these castle sets pieces right there. And I tried to do this in a previous game, and I, I wanted to gouge my eyeballs out after a little while. So let me go ahead and hit publish on that thing. So there you go. Boom. This will be in the description down there below. You can check it out, you know. Maybe you want to build a cool castle. It'll go really quick. I have a time lapse for this. So let's go ahead and jump on over to that. And you can see just how quickly you can build you know, something like this. All right, so starting off in this park, the first thing I had to do is clear a bunch of land and then raise it up right there with that kind of aesthetic right there. I'm, I'm speeding through this at 100x because I know this thing took me about an hour and a half and I just wanted to make sure this wasn't too long. But you can see right there, I'm placing down these buildings, boom, just like I showed you before, place down some walls, boom, and you kind of just make them work. And then one of the things you'll end up doing is actually take the walls, edit the building, extend it to the length you want and then just copy that around and, you know, cut pieces off it or not as you need to do it, right? So this is me coming back later at night, another day right there. I decided to change the style of the wall just to add a little bit more detail to it. And also I'm working with the larger towers because that seems to interact with the walls a little bit better. So there's a couple areas there where you have entrance and exits that I think work out pretty good. I also put down the ice pass, pass, palace up in the sky over there. And that's just for reference for kind of an idea of a, a building. I think it has a lot of really good elements that I would like to do right there. So I built a building right here and I want kept it a pretty normal shape right there with a couple of sort of decks that are up high. And I think I might just, at this point, I'm gonna go through there and just add a lot of different details, you know, little archways, little trim pieces, lights, and see what all I can kind of decorate into this building. I don't want it to be like an overbearing, like huge castle because I don't want to spend a bunch of time on that. But maybe I think this is a good start as far as more advanced buildings go, which have multiple pieces. So that's what I got right there. And I'm also going to tie it into a couple of different scenery bits. So by tying it into a couple of scenery bits, what I'm thinking is that this will end up being one blueprint right here. So you'll have some sort of castle, manor, whatever. And maybe it's like a nobleman castle or something like that. I don't know. I'm 
not an expert on castles, but I think they're awesome. They're one of those sweet, timeless things that, I mean, there's no other architecture in the world that's like a castle. It's just absolutely awesome. And I don't get them here in America because they don't exist. So I'm fascinated by them, which is why I like it, which is why I'm off on a horrible tangent. But the idea <laughs> that I'm trying to get back to is that this is going to be not only just a blueprint of this building, but it's also going to try to build in some different uh, terrain elements around it, sort of decorations, so that you can put down a little ride or something like this. Like the new ride, which is the Scissor 2. Well, it's just the Scissor then that was in the last update. And I think that'll be kind of cool. Maybe have another place over here where I can place that down. I got some other ride skins. So today isn't so much about roller coasters as much as it is about building stuff and scenery. Yeah, and look at that monthly profit. See, I'm making money around here. 16,000, I've had it up to like 35,000 bucks a month. And I'm keeping this legit park, even though it's in a sandbox. So I could probably afford to build all this. I don't know how much it actually costs. So let's go ahead and decorate this up. I got a lot of different little blueprints that I think are gonna fit really, really good. First up, look at this. I think this one over here, this carousel skin pavilion. Look at that. I mean, this is a cool little setup. And I think what I can do is I can place this down. It looks like it would go really well with this building. And then I'm going to change all the trees and stuff so that it's more wintry. So just because you get a ride skin that may not fit, you can kind of think about it that way to kind of make some adjustments, make it fit your theme. So there we go. We'll place it down. I think right over here is a good spot for that. So looking at the style of this sort of carousel skin right here, let me just go ahead and edit this building. Got some bushes and lamps over here. So what I'm going to try to do is replace that with just dead bushes and maybe some some ice rocks. All right, so there we go. I pretty much deleted all the different scenery around this that does that isn't all frozen. I think I'll just kind of replace some of this stuff here with like snow. Put snow on top of it. Ice rocks. Maybe some dried bushes will work pretty good here. Probably want to leave the bigger trees for back here, just like so. Then I can rotate it up a little bit. Yeah, just like this. Hey, that's that's working. It's working pretty good. All right, so now you can see I've changed this look quite a bit by just adding a bunch of icicles to the archways and the areas where there's a little bit of an overhang. I just kind of threw some icicles on that. Also got all the trees and everything around it. I'm thinking that's looking pretty good. Quite a bit different than what it was before. And uh, you can see how just how easy it is to change a look of a building if you really want to. So now I'm going to try to put a little bit of snow up in here. If I turn off the aligned surface, I might just be able to do that. That'll cover up these rosy flowers. I don't need none of that up in here. A little bit much. Oh, perfect. Oh, my gosh. Are you kidding me? Boom. There we go. A little bit of these snow bumps there. Just kind of give it some more realistic looks around it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Boom. Look at that. All right. Carousel it is. I know. We already got one, but I guess... It's very fitting. There we go. Look at that. It's got nice lights and everything. It makes a lot of sense. Put the entrance over here. Boom. And the exit right over there. All right. So I'm also going to decorate this up a little bit. I'm actually going to use this uh, Steelixen's Winter Tree Scent. We can actually view this on the workshop. So this is kind of his winter workshop right here. You can check this out. This will be pretty cool. I've used this on my other ride as well, so I'm going to repeat that theme up here. All right, this set does have some spotlights. You can see how it's kind of highlighting certain areas on the ground. I don't necessarily want that. I think that's a little bit too much for this area. I'm just going to find these spotlights and get rid of them. So there you have it, guys. Today was all about scenery, building a castle pretty quick, and I like that idea of having building sets, being able to just slam something out like this in a very short amount of time. I think that's absolutely awesome. I, I really love that people actually do building sets and I think there's a, a lot of really helpful chunks out there that can be put, put together in collections 
for different western themes and all that. So I was able to make one for the castles because I wasn't able to find one. So that'll hopefully help you guys out there as well. Did a lot of scenery stuff this time as well. I was able to convert this into a nice wintry sort of theme. That looks pretty cool. I'm, I'm, I'm impressed with myself for that conversion a little bit. I'm patting myself on the back. But that's all I got for you guys today. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. I'll see you again next time. If I've earned your subscription, then thank you so much for that. Have a great day. Peace. Brothgar.